गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सत्यकाल आदाब एंड नमस्कार दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग फॉर बेसिकली दोज बंगलो ओनर्स हु आर अनएबल टू अचीव देयर म्यूटेशन फॉर द लास्ट सो मेनी इयर्स ना देर आर टू प्रोसेस ऑफ म्यूटेशन वन यू गो टू द डी ओ एंड द अदर यू गो टू द कंटोनमेंट बोर्ड ना वाई कंटोनमेंट बोर्ड इट इज रिटर्न अंडर द लॉज द ब्रिटिशर्स रोट इट under 287 what all has to happen which i have briefed in my earlier videos now if you understand we can apply to the cantonment executive officer or the tax superintendent in particular that under section 82 or the old act 892 the department has to make sure if somebody has inherited or purchased the property so we have to send a notice to them under this section you know most of us as residents feel it is only the executive who can send us notice no vice versa even as a resident you can send a notice under that section and it is for the duty of the department to answer your notice otherwise your cause of action under cpc 2 stands you don't need to give them a notice under 82 of the cpc then but we do not our advocates in ourselves we feel reluctant in doing all this because somewhere you know last 75 years or 80 years of the independence we've started realizing that we are not equal citizens to the executives or to the legislatives we've not been educated on the enshrine of the constitution which says that we all are one equal the president of india and myself we are one the chief justice of india and myself my do or my dg lands or minister or a legislator or my chief minister we are one when it comes to law we cannot be treated one and above each other so we need to send this notice so what is this notice under section or 80 of the act the chief executive officer shall prepare a new assessment list at least once in every 3 years that is your triennial uh, taxation for the purpose of the provisions of section 75 and 79 the letter must be in the form of a notice now once this notice goes then ask in your second letter under section 81 notice of transfer now when ever the title of any person primary liable for the payment of tax on the annual rateable value of any building or land or to over such building so and so is transferred the person whose title is transferred and the person to whom the same is transferred shall within 3 months that is 90 days after the execution of the instrument under registration would need to tell the department and even if it doesn't do under section 287 it comes now the second part of the same section says subpara 2 event of death so this means inheritance how it devolves so the notice under section 3 shall be in form made under the original section 346 of the transferee how the title devolves to him now subsection 4 of 80 every person who makes a transfer without giving such a notice to the ceo shall continue liable for the payment of tax so that is why if you see your tax superintendent would make your tax receipts mr a through the present owner property transferred unless he gives notice or until the transfer has been recorded in the registers of the board So the chief executive officer under sub para five every transfer or devolution of title notified to him under subsection one, subsection two in the assessment list and the tax register of the board. Any failure to comply with the provisions contained in the section shall be punishable with fine which may extend to ten thousand rupees. friends the tax superintendent can be fine and the ceo do you understand are you willing to make these letters under the form of a notice 
just record it if there is any issue call me talk to me i'll make those letters but you need to take that in initiative now the ceo is duty bound preferably every trisonal assessment which is held under section 79 now what does 79 read i'm reading it for you people it says in amendment of assessment list the ceo may after obtaining the approval from the president cant board amend the assessment list by inserting or omitting the name of any person by inserting or omitting a, uh, any property which ought to have been or ought to have been inserted or registered by altering the assessment of any by revaluing or reassessing any property so what does he do he only revalues our property he doesn't do the abc part of the section in case of tax payable by occupier so he has to define you as an occupier either so even if it is not a buyer through a registered document you are the occupier by changing the name of the occupier before making an amendment under subsection 1 the ceo shall give to any person affected by amendment a notice within 30 days and proposes for the amendment any person interested may tender an objection within the time fix that is 30 shall be allowed to be heard through him or his agent kind of an advocate so members we you know we actually don't ask for all these notices replies and keep paying taxes the property which is in our possession so the board is very happy it doesn't define you an occupier it doesn't define you under section uh, 81 of the new assessment list so what does it do so what are we called we are called unauthorized occupants but what are your benefits if you do such things your benefits are this the board under section 2 is forced which is constituted where the definitions of every individual in sections are given boundary walls buildings defense state officer you know defense state circle inhabitant under zc a z i calls you an occupier z l will call you an owner so the do ought to has to make you either of these uh, under section 2 z c z i or z l once this notice is clearly made he will definitely make sure will get you on to board with the new assessment list so please wake up fight for your rights and believe me we will achieve it thank you good day